have some guac right here that y'all just saw me make. Let's grab a uh, chicken chip and see how this goes. Oh, it's good. I'm not gonna double dip yet, but good God. All right, so we have our one pound of ground chicken. We're gonna plop this in a lightly greased bowl. And we are going to be adding Claymore Cajun seasoning for a little bit of spice. Probably about a tablespoon or so. Now that we got that added, we're gonna go ahead and throw in some Willie Pete chicken seasoning. Probably gonna do closer to a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons, so we get some good flavor on that. We're gonna mash this up before we lay it out flat on some parchment paper. And make sure we thoroughly incorporate all the spices inside of here. Don't be afraid to get rough with your meat, but not too rough. All right. We're looking pretty good, so we have our cutting board right here. I went ahead and tore two of these parchment papers in half, similar to the size of what we'd be doing for inside of our air fryer. Now, the biggest thing with this is we want to make sure that we get this nice and flat. So I'm not really sure how much chicken we're going to need per parchment paper. So we want that nice, even, flat consistency. Make sure we fill in any holes on here. You can use a rolling pin, plastic wrap on top, the thickness and the shape of this soon to be chicken chip, hopefully, uh, is turning out. So that literally looks like about a third of the chicken is what is gonna be going inside of one side of the air fryer. We got the, I believe it's an eight quart Ninja air fryer. So I'm gonna save y'all time. I'm gonna make one more of these. We'll see you at the air fryer. All right guys, so we now have two of our ch ground chicken chip patty thingies. Got both of my air fryer baskets. Pop these guys on in here, try and get them to lay down pretty flat. Oh, it's just a little big. And this one looks like it'd be close. So we're gonna throw these inside the air fryer at 350 for 25 minutes. We'll see y'all once it's done. All right guys, so this just finished up. It took a little bit longer. We were closer to 35 minutes versus 25 minutes inside here. I have let it cool off, so let's pop these guys out. And as you can see, it has literally turned into a chip. It's hard as a rock, or as a chip, I should say. I'm gonna pop these guys down. I'm gonna cut them up, dry them out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this up. Don't know exactly how I wanna do it. Yeah, this is just like a chip. It's really just cracking before we can even cut it. It's falling apart like a chip. I hope it tastes just like a chip. I don't know way to find out. It feels like pretty wild. So let me grab something real quick and then I'll be right back. All right guys, I have some guac right here that y'all just saw me make. Grab a uh, chicken chip and see how this goes. Oh, it's good. I'm not gonna double dip yet, but good God. That's chicken. Yeah, it tastes nothing like chicken, but it does taste like chicken, if that makes sense. Oh my God, it's like once you chew it, it kind of rehydrates and you get the chicken, but that's a new way to diet. Yeah, pretty good. Chicken chips. I don't know if I can go through the process of making it again, but it's damn good. It's better yeah. than I thought it was going to be. It's going to be good with salsa, too. We got some ranch dip that we can utilize it in. You've got the guacamole. you got all that kind of stuff. So make this, share it, let us know what your thoughts are. We'll see you on the next recipe. Bye.